Instrument of cruelty, I want to show you how, and everyone else, how the Bible is not a history book. And to base your religion on such an infallible book is not healthy mentally, spiritually, or emotionally. In this conversation, he wrote, he did a video concerning something that I said on the video. I don't even remember what the video was. Then we got into this thing about the cross and how he was saying Jesus was not hung on a cross, but he was hung on, he was put on a, a pike, which causes instant death by the way um, and I showed him how the Romans had, were using crosses because they learned it from Alexander the Great the Greek who was using crosses who learned it from the Babylonians who were using crosses way back in the time of Sargon so crosses was a common thing for crucifixion so it wasn't new based on the Romans then uh, he, I told him how the, fish, the, fit, the symbol of the Christianity back in the day was the fish and he disagree with this and was talking about how it wasn't and he used Jonah so let's break Jonah down think about Jonah he said the people of Nineveh Jonah prophesied to worship the fish and change their minds from his prophecy a lot of problem with this a lot of problem first problem is the fact that the people of Nineveh was a Assyrian city it was ruled by the Assyrians who worshiped Ishtar this is where you get Easter from this is where you get your egg and your rabbit. Those were the symbols of Ishtar. So they weren't worshiping a fish. They, they worshiped a female goddess of fertility. That's the first thing. Second thing, uh, Nineveh fell to the Babylonians around 613 BCE. The problem is the book of Jonah is not written until fi 500 at the earliest, but more than likely around 400 BCE, which is a full 200 or more, well, 100 to 200 years after the city had already fell. Now what that provides is an opportunity for somebody to come in and write about a city that doesn't exist anymore that they only know stories of from their Babylonian captives who are telling them about this city and how it was destroyed. Now, the thing about it is if they repented and became part of your God, then why would he allow them to be destroyed by the Babylonians? But he did. Who the Babylonians worshiped Marduk at that time frame. So and his symbol wasn't a fish either. But the thing about it is you got people writing a story about a city that was destroyed almost 200 years prior to them ever knowing anything about, this, about it. And they can then write anything they want just to make themselves look better. And that's basically what the story of Joni is. It's making themselves look better. It's propaganda uh, about themselves. And they're appropriating history in order to do so. And being black in America, we know how people appropriate history. So it's the same circle, same thing.